And I started looking through his pockets to try to find a phone, but I literally found a treasure chest! So I opened it up and you guys are not gonna believe what I found inside of it! It was literally this piece of paper right here! So then I took the piece of paper and I hopped back inside of my van and just drove away! So now I have this piece of paper right here and we have absolutely no idea what it says on it! So let's go ahead and unfold it to figure out what it says on it! Oh my god! Guys, it's literally some sort of note or something! Like, as you guys can see, it says something on it! Let's go ahead and read it to figure out what it says on it! Oh, right, it says... Rainbow Friends! Number! Say what? Guys, this piece of paper right here that we literally found in that guy's pocket earlier literally says that it is Rainbow Friends number! And then there's just like a bunch of numbers down here, which I'm guessing it is literally Rainbow Friends phone number! And this is absolutely insane because if you guys do not remember in my last YouTube video like this one right here up on the screen, we actually found Rainbow Friends in real life! But unfortunately in that video they got away! Dang it! Guys, right now we're gonna go ahead and call this phone number on this piece of paper right here and see if Rainbow Friends actually answers. Let's do this. Let's do this. So I pulled my phone out of my pocket and then I just started dialing Rainbow Friends' number. All right, guys, it's ringing. Come on, answer! So there I was just sitting around waiting for Rainbow Friends to answer the phone whenever this happened! Oh my gosh! Guys, he just answered! And what the heck? Look, he's literally just dancing! What? Like, this is literally just a FaceTime call and look, he's literally just dancing what? right there! And no way, guys, it looks like he's literally back in our woods oh somewhere! God. Rainbow Friends, what are you doing out here in my bag? Oh. No way! Guys, look, he literally just hung up on me! He's not there anymore! No way! Why would he hang up? Like, literally, all he did was dance in front of the camera, and it looked like he was literally just back in our woods somewhere. But I don't know, guys. This has been absolutely insane. And I cannot believe it. Like, we literally just FaceTime Blue from Rainbow Friends in real life. And apparently, he's, like, literally back in our woods somewhere. So right now, our mission, if we choose to accept, is to head back there to try to find him. Come on, let's go. So I started heading back into our woods. I get some parkour, and then I got up and continued running, but I started to get extremely exhausted. So I just lay down on this Goran dragon and took a nap. What? Oh, uh, guys, I guess Random Star's just gonna take a nap. Like, he's literally just laying there asleep. So I suppose whenever he wakes back up, we'll go back there to try to find Blue from Rainbow Friends. We'll see you guys later. Peace out. The next day. Alright, guys, so it is now the next day. And I just woke up from my 675-hour nap. What? And as you guys can see, right behind me is literally the entrance to our woods. And we are heading back there right now to try to find Blue from Rainbow. 
Oppo friends like this person right here up on the screen because earlier we literally FaceTime him in real life. And while we were FaceTiming him, he was literally back in our oh woods. And that is exactly why right now my mission, if I choose to accept, is to go back there into my woods and find Blue from Rainbow Friends. Now, as I'm sure you guys already know, Blue is, like, extremely dangerous. And that is exactly why I'm going to be bringing this stick with me as a defensive weapon that will keep me safe and protected. Protected. So now that we have a defensive weapon right here, let's go ahead and head back there. Come on, let's go. So now that I had a weapon, I hurried up and I ran back into our woods to try to find Blue from Rainbow Friends. Here we see random stuff searching around in his woods to try to find Brew from Rainbow Friends. Because random stuff just got off of a FaceTime call with him. And he was just dancing. Will random stuff find him? Stick around to find out. Oh my god! Guys, look! Blue's right there! No way, guys! That's literally Blue from Rainbow Friends oh right there! God. Let's hurry up and use my weapon on it! Take this! Oh, that's a lot of damage! No way, guys! I missed! Oh. I guess we're just gonna go out there and try to catch with our bare hands! Come on! Save one! Guys, look, he's not there anymore! Oh, my God. No way, Blue from Rainbow Friends was just right here a second ago! And then he just disappeared out of nowhere! Oh. But he couldn't have went far! We need to hurry up and keep a super manly bird's eye view! Help for him and try to find him! Come on! So I started searching around the area to try to find Blue from Rainbow Friends because since I just saw him a second ago, he couldn't have gone far and I was searching through all of these weeds, but I didn't find him there, so I headed over to this tree and he wasn't there either. No way, guys! Unfortunately, I don't see him anywhere out here. But guys, that was absolutely insane. Like, Blue from Rainbow Friends was literally just standing right here in our woods a second ago. And then sadly, he just disappeared out of nowhere. But guys, don't worry. I a super genius idea on how we can capture blue from rainbow friends like i literally brought this box out here with me and we are gonna be using it to set up a trap to try to capture him let's do this so i set my trap on the ground and i grabbed this stick and i broke it using my super manly masculine muscle and then i used the stick to prop up my box to finish the trap all right guys so now our trap is fully set up and how it works is blue from rainbow friends will go down here to walk underneath our trap and when he does he will hit this stick right here making our trap fall on top of him trapping him inside and then we will have successfully captured him let's jump up oh my gosh no way guys that was literally blue from rainbow friends and he just tried to attack me let's go get him come on after getting attacked by blue from rainbow friends i went over to the what? spot where i threw him at to try to find oh, him no way guys i don't see him anywhere in the wheel and this is exactly where I threw him at! No way, guys! It looks like he got away from us again! Oh. But guys, that was super creepy! Like, we literally just fought Blue from Rainbow Friends! Like, he just attacked me! And I don't feel safe being out here in the woods because he might try to hurt me again! So guys, we're gonna go ahead and end the video right here! But really quick, make sure that you go in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think we should do about this! Like, should we come back out here to try to find Rainbow Friends again? Again, and maybe even set up a trap to try to capture him? Or do you guys have any other ideas? But I don't know, guys. This video has been super legit. legit and just make sure that if you are not already subscribed, then you go and absolutely demolish that subscribe button. So that way you guys do not miss any of our future YouTube videos. But guys, I guess I'm just gonna head inside and train to become a professional fighter. So that way if Blue from Rainbow Friends tries to fight me again, I can actually beat him up. So I guess we'll see you guys next time. Um, peace out until then. Guys, I don't know why random stuff is scared of that blue guy. Because he's literally a TikTok dancer. Like, you guys saw him just dancing back here in the woods whenever he FaceTimed random stuff earlier. And I ain't afraid of no TikToker because I got super manly masculine muscle. Because I work out. Are you sure about that? Oh, what was that? Guys, I think I heard a cricket. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. I gotta get out of here. That thing's gonna absolutely demolish me. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Ah!
So where are you going? Yeah, I'm going. Guys, right now something super legitimately insane is happening. Just approximately 6.849 milliseconds ago, I literally saw Choo Choo Charles out here on the other side of our pond. Yes, I literally saw Choo Choo Charles like this person right here up on the screen. But unfortunately, as you can see, he is no longer on the other side of our pond. No! That is why we are out here right now. Like, our mission, if we choose to accept, is to head over there to where I just saw Choo Choo Charles at. Now, as I'm sure most of you are already aware, Choo Choo Charles is like a super dangerous, creepy train. And he literally might try to attack me or something. And that is why I'm going to be bringing this football with me as a defensive weapon that will keep us safe and protected. Protected. Now, my dudes, we are almost ready to head over there to try to find Choo Choo Charles. Charles. But really quick, before we do that, I gotta show you guys my super beautiful and legitimate looking Rolex. Like, I literally dropped 27 racks on this thing. What? And now, unfortunately, I'm super poor and have no money. Like, I'm literally wearing my little brother's shirt and also his pajamas. So I need you all to go down below and absolutely demolish that like button. Because one like equals one extra dollar in my bank account. But all right, I guess before we waste any more time, let's go ahead and head over there and try to find Choo Choo Charles. Come on, let's go. So we hurried up and started heading over to the other side of our pond where we last saw Choo Choo Charles at. What's this? Guys, look, it's Baby Yoda. Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, wait, guys, Baby Yoda's literally like my hero. He's literally on my Sure. Let's go yeah. ask him for an autograph. Baby Yoda, can I get your autograph, please? Nope. Say what? Guys, Baby Yoda said he's not going to give me his autograph. This makes me so mad. I'm just going to have to absolutely demolish Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda, take this. So I ran over to Baby Yoda, and then I threw him. And then I ran over and John Cena at him. And then I picked him up and kicked him, causing a nuclear explosion. Hey, All right, after paralyzing Baby Yoda and causing him to have crippling depression, let's go ahead and get back to our search for Choo Choo Charles. No way! Guys, look, Choo Choo Charles is right over there! No way, that's literally Choo Choo Charles and he's just walking around our backyard! We gotta go over there and get him, come on! Oh my goodness! Guys, look, he's gone! No way, guys! I can't believe it! Choo Choo Charles is literally gone like he's not over there anymore! Let's go search for him! So I hurried up and I started searching around for Choo Choo Charles! What's this? Guys, look! It appears there's some sort of note or something right here on this branch! Let's hurry up and read it to see what it says on it! Alright, this note that we just found out here in our backyard says... FaceTime me at 3 a.m. No way! Guys, this note literally says FaceTime me at 3 a.m. And I'm guessing that it literally came from Choo Choo Charles! Because we just saw Choo Choo Charles running around over here a second ago! Guys, this is super creepy and Choo Choo Charles literally wants us to FaceTime him tonight at 3 a.m. Which is like the super creepy hour where a bunch of scary stuff can happen! But don't worry, even though it's at 3 a.m., I'm still gonna FaceTime Choo Choo Charles! Because I got these super manly masculine muscles! And I'm not afraid of him! But guys, right now I have a super genius idea! I'm gonna hurry up and search around the rest of our backyard to try to find Choo Choo Charles once again! Let's make sure that we're keeping a super manly bird's eye view out for him! Come on! After finding that note from Choo Choo Charles, we just started searching around the area to try to find him! What's this? Guys, I just got a notification on my phone! Let's see what it is! No way! It's a message from Choo Choo Charles! And he said, get inside now or I will kill you! No way, guys! Choo Choo Charles literally just threatened to kill me! Unless if I get inside right now! Guys, I'm gonna hurry up and get inside because I don't want Choo Choo Charles to attack me! And then we will come back outside at 3 a.m. tonight to FaceTime Choo Choo Charles! So yeah, I guess I'm just gonna head inside and drink 6,749 gallons of tartar sauce what? and then we will see you guys Guys, whenever we FaceTime Choo Choo Charles at 3 a.m. Um, peace out until then.
2,000 years later. Alright guys, so it is now currently 3 a.m. And this is literally the time that Choo Choo Charles told us that he wanted us to FaceTime him at. So I got my phone right here and we're literally gonna FaceTime Choo Choo Charles now. Alright, so as you guys can see, I have Choo Choo Charles right here inside of my phone. I'm gonna go ahead and FaceTime him right now and hopefully he answers. Alright, as you can see, it's literally ringing. Hopefully he answers. No way! Guys, Choo Choo Charles just answered the FaceTime. But it's literally just a black screen. Like I wonder if he's outside right now. Choo Choo Charles, are you there? Why do you want us to call you at 3 a.m.? No way! Guys, do you hear that? It literally sounds like there's a train or something. Guys, no way! That's literally Choo Choo Charles! Choo Choo Charles, where are you? It's no way! Guys, I think I literally just heard Blippi! And it sounded like he was inside of the phone, like with Choo Choo Charles! Blippi, are you there? Oh my goodness! Guys, Choo Choo Charles just hung up! That was absolutely insane! Like, it sounded like we literally heard Blippi, this person right here up on the screen! Like, I think Blippi is literally with Choo Choo Charles! Charles right now. But unfortunately, Choo Choo Charles literally hung up the FaceTime call. Dang it. But well, guys, I have a super genius idea. We're gonna hurry up and FaceTime Blippi on my phone because since we just heard him in the background of Choo Choo Charles FaceTime call, maybe they're like together and we can figure out what's going on. Let's hurry up and FaceTime him. All right, it's ringing and hopefully Blippi answers the phone. Come on, Blippi, answer. 12 seconds later. No way, guys. Unfortunately, Blippi literally didn't answer the phone call. I want wonder why he wouldn't answer the phone. Like, maybe he's in danger and Choo Choo Charles is like, what's that? Guys, I literally just heard a train. And it sounded like it was Choo Choo Charles. And I still hear it. Listen. Guys, it sounds like it's coming from our backyard. We gotta hurry up and head out there into our backyard to try to find Choo Choo Charles. Come on, let's go. So I hurried up and I started searching around our backyard to try to find Choo Choo Charles because we literally just heard him. And we also were keeping a super manly bird's eye view out for Blippi because we also heard him on the FaceTime call. No way, guys. We literally just searched around our whole entire backyard and unfortunately we didn't find Choo Choo Charles anywhere. Oh, guys. Guys, that was absolutely insane. Like, we literally just FaceTimed Choo Choo Charles and Blippi at 3 a.m. But, like, I wonder why Blippi was even with Choo Choo Charles. Like, maybe they're thinking about fighting each other again or something. But I don't know, guys. This video has been super legitimately insane. And I have absolutely no idea what we should do about all this. But if you guys have any ideas, then make sure you go in the comment section down below. And let me know what you guys think we should do next. Like, should we come back out here and search around for Choo Choo Charles again to try to find him? And maybe even look around for Blippi or like FaceTime them again or something. Oh, we're gonna go ahead and end the video right here. Just really quick, make sure that if you guys are not already subscribed, they go down below and absolutely demolish the subscribe button. So that way you do not miss any of our future YouTube videos. But yeah, I'm just gonna head inside and eat 6,774 hot tamales. What? And then we will see you guys next time. Um, peace out until then. Why are you running? Guys, right now something absolutely insane is happening. As you can see, I'm being chased by a bunch of SpongeBob's right now. And I'm literally also getting a call from Bluey. But unfortunately, I can't answer it because all these SpongeBob's are chasing me. I'm gonna hurry up and absolutely demolish them. Take this. Oh. Come on, get out of here. Why are you bullying me? Yes, we just successfully killed all of the SpongeBob's. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But guys, now unfortunately, the call with Bluey is literally over. And I didn't get to answer it. No! Oh, God, please, no! So I guess I'm just gonna, like, wait around and wait for Bluey to call me back again. What? 12 seconds later. Oh, my God! Guys, no way! I'm literally getting a face! from Bluey right now! Let's hurry up and answer and see what he wants! Bluey, why are you FaceTiming me right now? Man, I'm stuck. My whole entire family is out inside your backyard right now. You need to hurry up and get out here! You're literally outside of my backyard right now? Bluey, why are you out there in my backyard? Oh my gosh! Guys, no way! Bluey literally just hung up on me! But no way! 
like apparently Bluey is literally out there in my yard right oh now. My I guess right now my mission, if I choose to accept, is to hurry up and head out there and try to find her. Come on, let's go search around for her. What's this? No way, guys. I literally see Bluey's whole entire family right outside my window. No way. I can't believe they're literally out there right now. Let's use these binoculars right here to get a super manly bird's eye view of them. Oh my gosh, guys. That's definitely Bluey's family. And they're just standing out there in my backyard menacingly. And no way. If you guys do not remember in this YouTube video right here, which is literally like one of my recent YouTube videos, we literally captured Bluey's whole entire family. So this also means that they somehow like escaped my house. Oh my guys, this is super legitimately like insane and we need to hurry up and head downstairs so that we can go outside and confront them. Come on. After seeing Bluey's whole entire family through my binoculars, I hurried up and ran downstairs so that we can go out there where I had seen them at. No way. Guys, look, they're literally gone. Like they're no longer over here. We gotta hurry up and search around this area to try and find them. What's this? No way, guys. Look, there's literally something right here on the ground. And oh my gosh, it's literally a no. And I'm guessing that Bluey's family literally left this out here for us. All right, it says come back at 3 a.m. What in tarnation? Guys, apparently, like, Bluey's family literally left me this note 3.6429 milliseconds ago. And they literally said that they want me to come back out here at 3 a.m. Which is like the super creepy hour when a bunch of crazy stuff happens. And I really don't want to come out here at 3 a.m. Because, like, Bluey's family might try to absolutely demolish me. But you know what? Luckily for me, I have these super manly masculine muscles. And I'm not afraid to use my karate moves on Bluey's family if I have to. So I guess I'm just gonna head inside and go blow up some more SpongeBob. What? And then we will see you guys at 3 a.m. Uh, peace out until then. Why are you on? 12 seconds later. Guys, right now it is literally currently 3 a.m. And this is literally the time that Bluey's family wanted me to head outside. And I literally have no idea why they want me to go out there. But literally right outside this door is where we saw them at earlier today. So we're gonna hurry up and head out there right now to try to figure out why they wanted me to come out here at 3 a.m. Come on. <clears throat> All right, guys, so literally just right here is where we saw them at, like, through my binoculars earlier today. And, like, that note that we found was literally just, like, right over here on the ground. But, guys, unfortunately, I'm literally not seeing Bluey's family out here anywhere. Like, I literally have no idea what we're even doing out here, and it's, like, extremely cold. What's this? No way, guys, I'm literally getting a phone call right now. And, oh, my gosh, guys, it literally says that it's from Bingo. Which is literally Bluey's little sister. Let's hurry up and answer it right now and see why she's calling me. Bingo, why did you call me? Nano no, stuff, you need to go inside right now and watch me and Bluey's TV show. Bingo, why do you want me to go watch your guy? Oh my gosh. Guys, no way. Bingo literally just hung up on me. But as you literally heard her say, she wants me to go inside right now and literally watch her show. Oh but guys, like she literally didn't tell me why we're even supposed to go inside and watch Bluey. But guys, luckily for me, I already watched Bluey like every single night. What? So I'm just gonna head inside right now and watch Bluey like Bingo wants me to. And then we'll see you guys with whatever happens next. Um, peace out until then. <laughs> The next day. Oh, uh, guys, random stuff literally fell asleep last night while he was watching Bluey. Oh, uh, he's like literally laying right there. Let's wake him up. I got an idea, guys. I'm gonna throw this big plush pillow at him. It has to wake him up. Uh, Tor, what in tarnation? Why'd you just throw this pillow at me? Because he's been asleep forever, random stuff like you were watching Bluey. And then he fell asleep. Oh, my God. Catch up on all the episodes. Dang it. 
guys, this makes absolutely no sense why Bingo would literally tell me last night at 3 a.m. to watch their show. Because it's literally been like 1,479 hours and literally nothing has happened. So we literally have no idea what we're supposed to be doing. But I guess I'm just gonna sit here and watch some more Bluey because this show is super entertaining. What's this? No way, guys. I'm literally getting a FaceTime call right now. And no way. It says it's literally from Bandit, which is Bluey and Bingo's dad. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely insane. We need to hurry up and answer this FaceTime call right now and see why he's calling me. All right, I'm gonna answer it. Bandit, why are you FaceTiming me right now? Raven stuff, don't ever watch Bluey ever again or I will absolutely demolish you. <laughs> No, you can't do that. This is literally my favorite show. I watch it every single night. Oh my gosh. Guys, no way. Bandit literally just hung up on me. And as you guys saw, Chili was literally on the FaceTime call as well, which is literally Bluey and Bingo's mom. But as you guys heard Bandit just say, he literally said that I can never watch Bluey ever again or he's gonna absolutely demolish me. And guys, Bluey is literally my favorite TV show like I watch it every single night. And I've literally seen every single episode 4,667 times. What? But now apparently according to Bandit I can literally never watch it again. And no way guys. I'm literally watching it on the TV right now. Guys I gotta hurry up and get this TV shut off before Bandit comes in here and absolutely demolishes me. So I need to play grab the TV remote and I turn the TV off as fast as I could. Yes, I successfully turned the TV off! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. So now, hopefully, Bandit will not come in here and attack me. Guys, I have absolutely no idea what we should do about this, but this video has been super legitimately insane. And right now, I need you all to go into the comment section down below and let me know what you think we should do about all this. Like, do you guys think that I should, like, try to capture Bandit and get rid of him so that way I can actually watch Bluey in peace? Or do you guys have any other ideas? But I don't know. We're just gonna go ahead and end the video right here. Just really quick, make sure that if you are not already subscribed, that you go down below and absolutely demolish that subscribe button so that we do not miss any of our future YouTube videos. But guys, now I literally have no idea what I'm supposed to do because I can't watch Bluey. So now like, I literally gotta go find something else to do. So I guess for now, I'm literally just gonna play the piano instead. And then we will see you guys in the next YouTube video. Um, peace out until then. <laughs> Gosh, guys, you know what? I gotta drown out the music of him playing the piano by watching some Bluey. Because they never said that I couldn't watch Bluey. So I'm just gonna lay down right here where random stuff was earlier and I'm gonna watch Bluey myself. Uh, peace out, my dudes. Before we get to the part that you guys clicked on this video for, what I am actually gonna be doing right now is something absolutely insane. Like in today's beginning part of the video, I am literally gonna be saying the word like the video one million times. Oh so that way you guys will absolutely demolish that like button. So let's go ahead and get started. Like the video, 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 like the video. Like the video like 12 seconds later. Like the video, like the subscribe button. What? No way, guys. I've literally been out here saying like the video for like 12 whole seconds now. And I am getting like extremely hungry. So I'm just gonna head and sign order 7,417 onion rings. What? And then we will see you guys at the main part of the video. Um, peace out until then. Why are you running? The next day. Hello, guys. Welcome. Yo, what is up, my dudes? Ah! Now, guys, right now, something absolutely insane is happening. Just approximately four minutes and 17 seconds ago, I was outside eating Doritos because I was, like, extremely hungry. Whenever all of a sudden I pulled this water piece of paper on my Doritos bag. And I unfolded it, and you guys are not gonna believe it, but it was literally a treasure map. So 
Oh my god, Up and I started looking around for the treasure, following what? the map all the way around our whole entire backyard. And I got up on top of this van, and then I jumped down and just continued searching around our backyard, and that's whenever I ran into this tree, knocking me out. Oh and then I got up and just continued looking around for the treasure, and then I had to walk through our pond because the treasure map told me to. And then I just continued on my journey, looking around for the treasure, and the map led us towards our woods, and that's whenever I found something. Yeah. And you guys are not gonna believe it, but the thing that I saw was literally this piece of paper oh, right here. Yeah, yeah. And you guys are probably wondering what's so crazy about this piece of paper. Well, this piece of paper right here actually has Jeffy's phone number on it. Like, literally, this person right here up on the screen from the YouTube channel SML. And if you guys do not remember, in my last YouTube video like this one right here, we actually found a note from Jeffy out here in our backyard in real life. But sadly, we didn't find Jeffy anywhere out here. Dang it. And as you guys can see, this piece of paper right here literally has Jeffy's phone number on it. Because it literally says Jeffy's number right there. So I have my $5 trillion phone right here what? that I am going to be using to call this number. So let's go ahead and do it to see if Jeffy answers. So I started typing in the numbers and then I started to sweat because it was so difficult. 12 seconds later. Alright, so we now have the number inside of my phone. And I'm going to go ahead and click call right now to call Jeffy. Here we go! In seven, three, five, let's do this! Let's do this. Alright, it's ringing! Come on, Jeffy, pick up! Your call has been forwarded no! to a Guys, unfortunately, Jeffy didn't answer! Oh. Guys, this doesn't make any sense. Like, why would Jeffy leave us that piece of paper out there with his phone number on it if he wasn't gonna answer? Oh my gosh! Guys, I'm literally getting a FaceTime video from Jeffy right now! Like, look, that's literally him! We gotta hurry up and answer it! Oh my gosh! Guys, that's literally Jeffy right there! No way, it looks like he's literally frozen! But guys, it looks like he's not moving, he's just standing there! No way! Guys, I just heard him talk! Jeffy, are you there? Guys, that's literally Jeffy talking! His camera must be frozen or something! Jeffy, fix your camera! What do you mean you don't have to? Jeffy, where are you? Tell me! What do you mean you don't know where you are? Jeffy, are you out here in our backyard? Oh my gosh! Guys, Jeffy literally just hung up on me! No! No, God, please, no! But guys, that was absolutely insane! Like, we literally just FaceTimed Jeffy! But guys, while I was on the FaceTime video call with Jeffy, as you guys can see, there are like a bunch of trees behind him! And as you guys can see, we have a bunch of trees out here in our backyard! So maybe Jeffy is out here somewhere! We need to hurry up and look around our backyard to try to find him! Like, my mission right now is to look around for Jeffy! So let's go search around for him, come on! So I started searching around my backyard trying to find Jeffy, and then I jumped in the water to look for him in there! I don't think Jeffy's in the water! Since I didn't find Jeffy in the water, I hurried up and I got out and just continued searching around for him. And I headed back into our woods because there are a lot of trees back there, so I decided to go in our woods to try to find him. Alright, so we are now back here in our woods. And as you guys can see, there are like 4.7 billion trees back here. So we need to make sure that we're keeping a very manly bird's eye view out for Jeffy because he could be anywhere out here. Let's start searching. Here we see random stuff, searching around his woods to try to find Jeffy. Will he find Jeffy? I have no idea, but if anyone could do it, it would be random stuff. No way, guys! Unfortunately, we just spent like four hours searching around in our woods, and I didn't find Jeffy anywhere! Like, he literally wasn't anywhere out here, so look, look, there's something right behind you! Oh my gosh! Guys, look, Torg is right! Oh my god! 
It looks like it's literally some sort of note or something. We gotta hurry up and read it to figure out what it says. All right, it says, where is Jeffy? Sign Junior. Oh my gosh. Guys, that note right there literally says, where is Jeffy? And it also says that it is from Junior, like this character right here up on the screen from the YouTube channel SML, which is literally like Jeffy's best friend. So guys, this is absolutely insane. Like Junior is literally asking us where Jeffy is. And we literally just got done on a FaceTime call with Jeffy. But sadly, we don't know where he is. Dang it. But guys, this video was absolutely insane. Like, we literally FaceTimed Jeffy. And then we started searching around our backyard to try to find him. But instead of finding Jeffy, we ended up finding this note right here that is from Junior. And he is asking us where Jeffy is at. But, like, we don't even know where he is. So, guys, make sure that you go in the comment section down below. And let me know what you guys think we should do about this. Like, should we try to find Jeffy? And maybe even try to find Junior out here in our backyard as well? Or do you guys have any other ideas but guys really quick just make sure that if you are not already subscribed then you go and absolutely demolish that subscribe button so that we do not miss any of our future youtube videos but man guys it has been like nine minutes since i last had something to eat what? and i am getting like extremely hungry so i'm just gonna head and sign these 7948 candy canes what? and then we will see you guys next time um goodbye until then why are you oh my goodness, guys, apparently Jeffy may be out here somewhere. And maybe even Junior as well. I'm super scared. Because Jeffy might pull a pencil out of his nose and start attacking See? me with it like it's a lightsaber. Oh I gotta grab something to protect myself. This poison ivy ought to do. Jeffy, if you come at me, I'm gonna hit you with this poison ivy. Guys, I'll see you later. Guys, check this. It's gonna be super legitimately like insane. Then. Like right now, we're literally back in our woods and our mission, if we choose to accept, is to head back there to search around for Grimace and Curse Grimace. See, because if you guys are not already aware of this, in my last YouTube video like this one right here up on the screen, Grimace and Curse Grimace literally fought each other in real life. And in that video, I literally asked you guys what you think we should do about all of this. And you guys literally said that we should head back into our woods to search around for them. So I guess for wasting any more time, let's go ahead and head back there and search around for them. Come on. So I started searching around back in our woods so that way we could hopefully find Grimace or of course, Grim is back there. Oh my goodness! Guys, look! The woods literally goes two different ways! Like, there's a path going that way, and then there's another path going down there! And I have absolutely no idea which path we should take to try to find them! Wait a minute! Guys, I'm an absolute genius! I can literally head that way down that path, and then Tor can literally go this way! That way we can literally search in both areas! Alright, so me and Torg are now gonna split up and go our separate ways. Make sure you guys go down below and absolutely demolish that like button. Because one like equals one prayer that Torg will not die while he separates from me. Because as we all know, I'm way stronger than Torg and there's no way Torg is gonna be able to defend himself if something tries to attack him. Um, Torg, do you have anything you wanna say before we go our separate ways? Wait a second, I'm way stronger than you. Take this. So Torg charged after me and then he started punching me so I punched him and then he punched me to the Oh, stop fighting! We need to search around for Grimace! Man, guys, I can't believe Tor just pushed me down to the ground! But alright, it's time for us to get for real! Let's search around our woods to try to find Grimace! Alright, so as you guys can see, Torg is literally going down the other path! And hopefully Grimace will attack him after he just pushed me to the ground! Now, if you guys are not already aware of this, in my last YouTube video, like the one where we literally saw Grimace and Curse Grimace fight each other, I literally got kidnapped by Grimace in real life! Life. And whenever Grimace captured me, he literally put me inside of that tree right there. Like, he literally stuffed me inside of it. And I was stuck and couldn't get out. But I've been training my boxing skills, and there's no way Grimace is going to be able to capture me again. So I just continued searching around in the super hot woods, searching around everywhere to try to find Grimace and curse Grimace. Man, guys, it is so hot out here in the woods. It's a good thing I brought this bottle of water with me. So I started drinking the whole entire water bottle so that way I could once again become fully hydrated to search around for them. Alright, now that I am fully hydrated, let's continue searching around the woods. Look, 
guys, there's literally this falling down tree right here. Maybe Curse Grimace and Grimace are over here somewhere. This is so creepy, guys. They gotta be here somewhere. All right, guys, so unfortunately, I'm not having any luck finding them out here. Maybe Torg has found something. Let's give him a call and ask him. No way, guys, Torg's literally calling for me. Like, he's literally right over there, and he just said he found something. He just found this right here. No way. Guys, look, Torg literally just found this note right here. Torg, take the camera. Guys, this is absolutely insane. And I can't believe that. I literally just found this note right here back in our woods. All right, this note says, FaceTime me at 3 a.m. Oh, my goodness. Guys, apparently whoever it was that left us this note literally wants us to FaceTime them at 3 a.m. But sadly, as you guys can see, whoever it was that left us this note literally didn't put their name on it. So, like, we have absolutely no idea who it is that wants us to FaceTime them at 3 a.m. Him. No! No, God, please, no! So, guys, I guess we're just gonna have to wait until 3 a.m. to try to figure out who it was that left us that no, literally telling us that they want to FaceTime us. Because, like, they literally didn't sign their name on the note or anything. So, like, we have absolute. What's this? Guys, look, there's someone right there! And no way, that's literally Blippy! We gotta go over there and get him, come on! Oh my goodness! Guys, look, he's gone! No way, I can't believe it. Blippi was literally just right over here 3.64789 milliseconds ago. And now he's literally gone like he's no longer oh. over here. Dang it. Dang it. But guys, that was absolutely insane. Like, I can't believe that we literally just saw Blippi standing right here a second ago. And I'm guessing that he's literally the one that left us this note right here saying FaceTime me at 3 a.m. I can't believe this. Like, Blippi literally wants us to FaceTime him tonight at 3 a.m. And I have absolutely no idea why he even wants us to call him. This is absolutely insane and if you do not remember in our last YouTube video like the one where we saw Grimace and Curse Grimace fight each other this is literally the same exact spot where we saw them fight at and now apparently Blippi is literally out here in our woods as well and he's literally asking me to FaceTime him at 3 a.m. and according to my 675 trillion dollar Rolex 3 a.m. is not for another 37 hours what? so guys we literally gotta wait like 3749 minutes until 3 a.m. Oh. alright guys I'm not gonna lie I'm starting to get like extremely hungry so I'm just gonna head inside and eat me some fish sticks and then we will see you guys whenever we come back out here at 3 a.m. to FaceTime Blippi um peace out until then random stuff those are literally my fish sticks I can't let you take them from me oh, guys I gotta go stop random stuff come back oh. Oh. I think I injured my vertebrae I guess random stuff's gonna get my fish sticks and I'm just stuck back here in the woods no no god please no my dudes what is up it is currently 2 57 a.m right now and i'm literally outside right now trying to find random stuff because i have absolutely no idea where he's at like he never went inside earlier so uh i gotta try to find him real quick because we're legitimately supposed to facetime blippy in three minutes let's keep a very good bird's eye view out for random stuff and find him let's do this let's do this Wait a minute! Guys, random stuff's literally right here asleep on this van! Random stuff! You need to wake up! Torg, what time is it? It's 2.57 a.m. Oh my goodness! Guys, I can't believe it! I've been asleep for like 367 hours! There's been no way we're literally supposed to call Blippi in two minutes! Because as you guys know, he literally wanted us to call him at 3 a.m. tonight! So I got my phone right here and we're gonna get ready to call him! Boy, we still got like another two minutes, so I guess we gotta just like sit here and wait. 12 seconds later. What's this? Guys, I'm literally getting a call right now. And oh my goodness. It's from Blippi. Like he's literally FaceTiming me right now and it's only 2.59 a.m. Let's hurry up and answer it to figure out what Blippi wants. Blippi, why did you want us to FaceTime you? <laughs> Hello? Blippi, are you there? Guys, it's literally just a black screen. Like, I don't even 
can't see Blippi! Blippi, show your face! I wanna fight Curse Blippi so that way I can fight him again! You said you wanna fight oh Curse Blippi God. again? No way, Blippi, why do you wanna fight? Oh my goodness! Guys, Blippi literally just hung up on me! But that was absolutely insane! Did you guys hear what he said? He literally said that he wants to fight Curse Blippi again! Guys, this is absolutely insane! And if you do not remember in this YouTube video right here that we posted a couple of months ago, Blippi and Curse Blippi literally fought each other in real life! And apparently Blippi is literally saying that he wants to rematch Curse Blippi and fight him again! And wait a minute, guys! I'm an absolute genius! I'm guessing the reason why it was just a black screen whenever we FaceTime Blippi was because he's literally outside right now! And like it's pitch black out here, so that's why we couldn't see anything! So Blippi must be out here in our backyard right now! We need to hurry up and search around our backyard to try to find him! Come on! This? Guys, I'm getting another call! Maybe it's from Blippi! Say what? Guys, I'm getting a FaceTime call from Curse Blippi! Let's answer it! Curse Blippi, what do you want? I'll beat Blippi in a fight once I can do it again! No way, does that mean that you're gonna- Oh no! Guys, Curse Blippi literally just hung up! But that was absolutely insane! Like, he literally just said, I beat Blippi in a fight once! I can do it again! No way, this is absolutely insane, my dudes! By the sounds of it, Blippi and Curse Blippi are literally gonna fight each other in real life again! Like, we literally were just on a FaceTime call with Blippi, and he said that he wants to rematch Curse Blippi! And then Curse Blippi FaceTimed me, saying that since he already beat Blippi once, he can literally do it again! Which, to me, sounds like Curse Blippi was accepting Blippi's rematch! Guys, I have absolutely no idea what we should do about all this, but if you have any ideas, then make sure you go in the comment section down below and let me know what you think our next YouTube video should be about. Like, do you guys think we should watch Curse Blippi and Blippi fight each other again to see who will win round two? Or do you guys have any other ideas? Hi, right, guys, I don't really feel safe being out here anymore knowing that Blippi and Curse Blippi are both out here. So I'm gonna head inside and eat me 3,679 packs of ramen noodles, and then we will see you guys next time. Um, peace out until then. Why are you running? <laughs> oh, that's do hot. it! That's hot. Just do it! Don't let your 